What's up guys, my name is Jess. We're going to talk about the best co-locations. There are going to be three in addition to a few more towards the other part of the video um, that houses ores and coal. But anyways, let's get started. So this is the Mount Obsidian uh, location. This has a skill fruit tree, two sulfur rocks, an egg spun on the tail of the statue, lots of pals to fight and to harvest some uh, food from along with other materials and whatnot. Two sulfur rocks, did I already say that? And coal rocks on the western side along with some trees. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff over there. Next one is the Anubis Desert. This one's in the desert. You, you had to go towards the LOL statue aka the Anubis Alpha area. Okay, you're gonna go towards that statue right here. And on top of his ears are an egg spawn. There's going to be a few of them around here. Another one down there in addition to the mini island. We got island 1 and then island and then a gap right here and then the island 2. On island 2 is the coal. There are about 7 rocks here. One on top, one just slightly underneath along with an egg spawn. Okay, the best part about this is that there's a lot of stone and trees and some other pals that you'll end up needing to mine these rocks. It's beautiful. It's very well planned out by the devs. Coal base number three is on the backside of Anubis statue in his desert, okay? We got about seven rocks here as well. Uh, I wouldn't recommend making a base there because it's just too hard to build. I, it's just torturous. Don't bother. And so what you can do is just instead just fly over there and just mine it and then go back to your original base. Okay, so this is the coal and ore base. Right here is the Veardash ones just south of the Veardash teleport. You're going to be... It's going to be split by that water right here, but as you can see uh, from all the structures, there's no power box, there's no pals. I made a base here, and then I destroyed the power box. But it was a great spot to mine all this coal when I didn't have a coal mining pit, because, you know, that stuff is kind of end game, right? The coal mining pit is end game, and along with other mining pits that are end game as well. So anyways, wrap around the corner of this stairwell right here. Really just by the water is your ore spawns, okay? The copper, the iron, whatever it's called. You got a lot of them, so you're not going to run out of materials anytime soon, okay? You can even put two bases here, one on this side, one on the other side. It's a great spot to put um, overall bases and whatnot. So we're going to go down the hill towards the volcanic region, and you look here, we have a skill fruit tree, another skill fruit tree. By this coal and ore location, it's great, it has everything. Literally everything. You even got the pals around here that are that that are pristine for the uh, f for your current level that you should be having right here. We got the bees. We got the wixens. We got the ignis, uh, kelpsy ignis. We got arsogs. We got a lot of the high level pals, mid level pals, low level pals that offer a lot of utility, right? And as you can see from this build, I actually did have a pretty good base here, you know. And um, yeah, let's get to the next one, number two, Veilet East. So this is east of the Veilet teleport. Right, you got access to an egg, lots and lots of copper, right? The ores, lots and lots of copper, and you got coal. Now, I did build over some of the platforms or some of the spawns of the ores, so they're not gonna go, they're not gonna spawn anymore just because I built over them because I didn't need them anymore. But as you can see from the wheat and the ore, that thing on the left, that's the big ass ore thing, okay? That's the big, big mama, and right here on top is the lower level ore site. Um, and yeah, this is just proof that I had a base here just because I don't want to be that guy who says oh well do this and that without having any proof because that's just annoying and I hate those guys anyways next one Veardash waypoint okay sorry this is the Veilet waypoint I think I wrote that wrong but anyways this is Veilet waypoint number three right next to it is the little literal one right here okay so here's the deal with this base okay there are a lot of coal rocks that spawn here but because i placed all this platform on top of where the ores are supposed to be where the ores spawn they don't spawn anymore okay and that's only because i didn't need them to spawn anymore you get that because i i, I i'm end game i don't need them but if you are not endgame, go up the hill from the waypoint, and you have a beautiful section for ores and coal. Alright, peace! Lock